Still around the vicinity of Ikarudu is Ojue Moran Road, a possible alternative road for those who reside in Odogunyo. The project was started but left abandoned halfway. How did this happen? The people are concerned. For the people of Odogunyo, one road that would serve a major part of their problem is the Ojue Moran Road, which unfortunately has been left uncompleted. It was a scene of joy for them when the project started, but why it was left halfway, they cannot tell. The traditional ruler of the community who conducted us around says fixing the road will be very key to the growth of the area. They just start from Ojue Mure there down to Egini. This is what they call Egini. From Egini down to uh, Agbede, there is bad. It's a bad entirely. We are just begging Lagos state government to do it for us. We are writing a letter, 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 letter. They don't do anything for us. Please and please, let's do it for us. Infrastructure such as road usually has a direct impact on the socioeconomic status of any community. For these people, it's a lifeline if government would look into the abandoned project. For this area, to carry materials inside, maybe you want to do a building or constructing something. The motor are spoiling here. The bad road are not, uh, are not allow the people the motor to come inside. And most people, they're supposed to work, they didn't work well. And they are coming here, council people are coming here to collect council money from us. But they didn't do anything for us here. So we don't know what we do government. We beg government to do something for us here so that everything will move. This area is too poor. No TC, no markets. The road connects to Dogunyo to Agbade, another major community in Ikorodu, via this wooden bridge, which they claim gets flooded whenever the rains come. We have a lot of people here that are living here. And as they are here now, for them to patronize, to do their business or whatsoever, there's no road for them. They are finding it difficult if they are about to come out to go and face their business. They are so, they are finding it so difficult. And they have been trying one way or the other. They have been complaining to the government and the government did not listen to their complaint. It is very, very dangerous because as you've seen it there, when there is time of rainy, when the rain, when, by the time when the rain was falling so much, you see that everywhere was covered with the water uh -huh. and there is no bridge there. Even to the extent that the water used to carry some of the children that are used to passing here, uh, through the help of God that you are make all these things survive, all these children that survive. So there's serious dangerous about this road. During the rainy season now, you see people here suffering everywhere. So we, we the bike man, we have to, you know, to come there to assist them, to take them along. And what we are seeing now, we are pleading to the government to help us to show consign on this road. Once again, they appeal to the government to complete what it started or even investigate the reason why it was left halfway. 